In this video, we're going to see how to set up the labor time adjustment matrix in All Data Manage Online. With this feature, we can either increase or decrease the labor time in the OEM catalog. To access and set up this feature, we go to Setup, then select User Options and Labor Time Adjustment. There are two matrices that can be utilized. The first is for regular repair labor operations, and the second is for service interval or maintenance times. Both are set up and adjust the catalog the same way, so we'll just look at the first one. This feature can be enabled or disabled by checking this box. To save my change, I'll click Update. Before we create any adjustments, let's add some labor to an estimate to get a baseline. Then we'll create several types of adjustments and look at how they affect the times. For this demonstration, I'm going to add labor times on this torus. I'm going to select the labor for the front pads and to R&R &R the rotors and add them to the estimate. Now, let's create some adjustments and see how they affect the times. We'll go back to Setup, User Options, and Labor Time Adjustment. To create an adjustment, first select a customer account type. To learn more about setting up customer account types, click the link above. Creating a default adjustment will change the labor time for all account types, provided they do not have a separate adjustment range created for them. To set the range of the adjustment, we enter the lower limit, which in this case will leave it zero and put in an upper limit. For this example, I want to mark up everything in the catalog, so I'm going to enter 100 in the To field. Using this drop-down, I choose to either increase or decrease the times. Then select how I want to adjust these hours, either by a percentage or a specific amount of time. Next, I choose how much I want to adjust the times. In this first example, we'll enter 100 and click Add. What we have done is created an adjustment which will increase by 100% any labor line item that is between 0 and 100 hours. Let's go back and add those same labor lines to the estimate and see how this works. Back in the catalog, we see there is an asterisk next to the labor times. This indicates that an adjustment has been applied to it. Let's add those same line items and compare them to the originals. We can see that both line items are increased by 100%. The original times were 0.8 and 0.2, and in the second job, they are 1.6 and 0.4. This is how you would mark up everything in the catalog by a single amount. Let's go back and see other ways to adjust the times. I'm going to edit this line we created by clicking the Edit icon. This time, we're going to create ranges of markups, so let's change the upper limit to 0.5 hours. We'll leave the markup at 100% and click Update. Notice that the From box is automatically filled in for me at 0.6 hours to start the next range. We'll enter 2.0 in the To field, enter a value of 50%, and click Add. We now have two ranges of markup. Any labor time from 0 to 0.5 hours will be increased by 100%, and any time between 0.6 and 2 hours will be increased by 50%. Anything above that will not be adjusted. Let's look at those same line items one more time. We can see that the time for the pads of 0.8 has been increased by 50% or 0.4 hours because it falls into the range of 0.6 to 2 hours. The R&R &R rotors line item is marked up 100% because it falls into the range of 0 to 0.5 hours. Let's take a look at two more ways we can adjust the OEM labor times. 
I'm going to create two more time adjustments. The first will be for the customer account type agricultural. This time, instead of adding a percentage, I'm going to add a specific amount of time of a half hour. To do this, I select the account type. Enter the two time of 100 and choose hours from the drop down. I'll enter 0.5 in the value field and click add. Let's say we also work with an insurance company and have negotiated a 10% decrease in the amount of time we charge them. I'll create an adjustment for them as well. This time I choose decrease and enter 10 in the value field. This time adjustment will work the same as the first two examples, except it will lower the labor times by a percentage rather than increasing them and only for customers who have an account type of insurance. If I reset my dropdown, we can see all of the matrices we've created. Let's take a look at how the adjustment works for the agricultural account type. To show this adjustment, I need to edit the customer and change their account type to agricultural. For clarity, I've deleted the two previous markup examples, but left the original job with no adjustments applied. Once again, we'll add the same labor lines. We can see that both labor lines have been increased by a half hour each. The labor time adjustment feature gives you control over labor times and the ability to adjust the time charged based on customer type.